looking at exercise 8-10 and Wiley Plus, what I wanted to bring your attention to are the interest days and months that are that are um, shown here for the three items that we're going to be calculating interest. For the first one, it's not too hard. We're just going to do it in full months, so 2 over 12 for our time. But when we get down here to the last two, you'll see that it's a little different. We have to do it in days. And in the instructions, they tell us to use 360 days when using the, uh, for the interest formula for T is time. Just a real quick review. Remember, I equals PRT, and T is always in years. So what I want to do here for this November, uh, December uh, 11th and 16th, and then finally the 31st, on the 31st, we're going to add up all of the interest that we have earned and make one big journal entry. And so to do that, what I want to do is down here for November 1, I'm going to make a column, and this will be November 1 will be Manny, our first, our first uh, transaction. On December 11th, we will have the Ralph column, and then on December 16th, we will have the Joe column. And then below each of these, what I want to do is I want to record how much interest has accrued since the start of the note. So on November 1, I'll get to, we'll get to the journal entries and I'll actually pull up Wiley Plus in a minute. But first, we actually, it's probably, it, it'll be helpful to go ahead and calculate our December 31 journal entry while we're still here in Excel. So for Manny, we had two months of interest. So we do our interest formula. I equals PRT, so our interest equals our principal, which was 27,000, times our rate, which was 10%, and then finally times our time, and our time here is two months. So I want to do two divided by 12, or two months out of 12 months. And we can calculate right here that after I do the calculation, we have $450 of interest that is has been earned as of the 31st of December. We're going to do the same thing here for Ralph. Even though we didn't necessarily loan him cash, we still loaned him, uh, the, made him the ability to not have to pay us cash right away. Therefore, it is a loan because we made a sale. So we're going to take our 74,250 principal times that by the point, uh, the 8 percent, so it's 0 0.08 as a decimal. And then our time this time will be 20 days, because we only have 20 days until the end of the year. December 11th through the 31st is 20 days. And I'm going to take that as the instructions tell me over here. We're going to use a 360-day calendar instead of the normal 365, so our numbers will come out nice and neat. So here's Ralph's amount. And then finally, we're going to do the same thing for Joe. We're going to take the 95.4, multiply that by the, the interest, which is 0.8 again, or 8%, 0.08. And this time, it's only 15 days out of 360. And there's my interest. And then I want to just add them all up. And this will be how much interest I expect that I need to record on my books, so we'll want to remember this 1,098 figure when we get down to December 31 to show our interest. So now let's, I'm going to go ahead and uh, bring up our Wiley Plus, and we'll begin to enter in these transactions. <clears throat> okay? So on November 1, we ask ourselves, what did we, what did we get? We got a note receivable from our client, Manny, for $27,000. And the reason we got that is because we gave him cash that he would be paying back later. For December 11th, again, as we'll see for each, each of these first three, we are getting a note, but it's what I actually provided to get that note um, will be the difference here for each one, so our credit will be a little different. So our note receivable here for $74,250, the reason I got a note is because I made a sale. Instead of giving money, I made a sale, and I just didn't expect the money to come in right away. 
Now, a lot of times we would have originally called this an account receivable, but since the number is so large, uh, there's probably not going to be immediate payment or payment within just a day or two. So therefore, that's why we put it on a note because we will be collecting interest on it. Now, our last loan, also a note, for 95.4 was in exchange for an account receivable. So originally we made a sale to Joe and we would have originally recorded as a debit to account receivable credit our sales revenue. But now Joe has found out a month later there's no way he's going to be able to make this large payment. He's going to need some extra time. So what we're going to do is convert his account receivable that doesn't have interest, that's just due in 30 days, to a note receivable that's more like a loan where you do pay back interest. So all we're doing is taking the amount out of the account receivable and putting it into a note receivable that actually incurs interest. Now for December 31, we need to show that even though I'm not paid yet, I still have earned interest. And if I'm not paid, I'm going to call it what it is, interest receivable. And we just figured the amount, I'm going to bring it back up quickly so I refresh myself, it was 1098 So we had interest receivable of 1098 And then I got to ask the question, my credit question, if I got 1098 as interest coming in, why did I get that interest coming in? Well, that is actually part of my revenue. Remember, there are different types of revenue. You can make a sale through your normal course of business. You may have rent revenue coming in. And this one is just another one of those called interest revenue. So the second part of this question is they want us to go ahead and um, go ahead and calculate all the way through on this first loan. They don't ask us to do the other two. But on this first one, they say, okay, you, you went ahead and gave us the, the update um, or the initial journal entry here. We combined all of our interest receivables for this one. We could have done it three different times on December 31, but just to make it a little easier, we went ahead and combined them all into one big one. Now what they're telling us here is we're going to go ahead and calculate uh, Lopez's final payment, Manny's payment, on November 1. So when Manny pays us, we got to ask the question, what did the business get? The business would have gotten cash. And then we can figure up our cash one of, two, one of two ways. You can figure up, okay, how much cash does Manny have to collect now um, for the last 10 months? Or you can say, how much cash did Manny have to collect for the entire loan? And adding in the total interest plus the loan amount would be our total cash here. So real quickly, and I probably should have done this earlier, but I'm going to switch quickly back into the Excel as we calculate our, uh, there it is, as we calculate how much Manny owes. So this was as of December 31. Now from January through November, we need to calculate, and it's basically almost the exact same as our formula here. So I'm just going to copy and paste it here. The only number that's going to change is instead of it being two months, we're now calculating over 10 months out of the year, January all the way through the end of October. And so Manny owes for those 10 months, and maybe this should be all the way through just October, so for those 10 months, we owe $22.50. So in total, if I would add these up, total interest that I had to pay is $2,700. So $2,700 in interest plus the $27,000 that was originally loaned, I can now begin to show how much uh, total cash uh, is coming in. So total cash coming in, the $27,000 plus the $2,700, would be 29.7. So now I'm going to go back and finish out this journal entry. Okay, so we've got our debit of cash, and we just calculated how much cash we're going to bring in, the total 27,000 plus the 2,700 in interest, 
And now all I need to do is show where that cash is coming from. Most of it is coming from my note. I've got to get rid of that note receivable. He no longer owes me. In addition, he no longer owes that the interest receivable that was originally shown as $450 if you would go back to the Excel sheet. $450 was the interest receivable. The remainder here is our interest revenue. And I think it was 20, I don't remember the exact number, I'm going to have to pull it up. It was 450 and 2250 was our new interest for these last 10 months. So now when I'm ready to submit, I, am, I, have, been, I have completed. In our next video, I will look briefly at exercises 8-5 and 8-7.